like to get some service, please. Some service, someone... What, is there some kind of holiday? Is it Thanksgiving, maybe? Why, yes, it is. Thanksgiving this Thursday, so there's no auction this Thursday. You should all be eating turkey and being with your families and stuff. But, as I'm about to show you, we're pretty set up. Um, there will be more to come, but at least you get a glimpse of what the next auction will be, and which will be a week from this Thursday. Hope you all have a beautiful Thanksgiving and look forward to seeing you that following Thursday. Um, yeah, gorgeous stuff, really cool hat. You're gonna, we're pretty much set up, but we're gonna, there will be more photos and uh, another video um, next week. But this is designed to tickle your taste buds for what's to come. These are really cool, they're kinda on um, marble or some sort of, stone and etched in there a couple of tributes to Harry Truman and they're signed and numbered pretty cool remember the Kansas City Athletics that's what they were before the Royals most of you know that uh, the bullets are 40 Smith & Wesson got some great tin types daguerreotype you know on uh, I have a lot to learn when it comes to the different types of photos. Um, check out the photos that I took of this stuff because that's the only way you're going to really see the detail. There's an awesome one back there. It looks like a soldier, Civil War. He's holding his Bowie knife and really cool. We got some gold again. Probably going to just, in fact, it even says you're going to just sell all those gold necklaces as one. You know, make the weights go up a little bit. Really neat stuff in there. Yes, and this is for sale, so you can do your own little reenact your own little hotel scene or something. Uh, it's always fun to try and figure out a way to start the video, try to be funny about it. Really nice cases, jewelry cases, but these have big old shooter marbles in them. There's some coins in here, a lot of like. Oh, you know, the pennies that weren't struck, you know, miss strikes, uh, even blanks, just kind of weird stuff in that, in that coin box. There's some smaller marbles. Beautiful. Tons of cool items. This may just seem like some ordinary tankard, but it's from a 75 millimeter shell dated 1941. World War II trench art. That's pretty cool. Clock, Kelly tires. Neato stuff. There's a little metronome. And man, that thing's in brand new condition. Uh, in fact, it's hard to get the cover off. It's so new. This thing looks like it's brand new, but it's dated 1955. Can you believe it? Check that out. I mean, there's not a blemish on this. Hard to find them in this kind of condition when they're that old. They're usually pretty scratched up. Neato stuff. A couple of awesome BB guns. Yes, they both work. There's uh, 25 pounds and number five shot. A bag of that. Navy cap. That bear is carved out of some kind of marble. He's ridiculously heavy, but very cool. Let me show you some of the things on the floor. Hey, it's tis the season. Get your tree, and that'll make it rotate, go around in circles. This is a very nice chest. Old, old. You're going to see some awesome furniture. Awesome antique furniture. Um, some of the best we've ever had, so get ready for that. Plus, we've got some phenomenal books that are antique in nature and pretty much dealing and we're coming up upon it so great canes I mean there's a cane in there I don't know if you can see that made from snake vertebrae uh, there's canes it, it's crazy ash blackthorn beautiful stuff check out the photos
This thing was really neat. Some sort of surveyor's scope. Check out the photos for that. I probably say that too often. Check out the photos. But to get the real specifics, in fact, there's an awesome hat. Uh, it's so clean, it's like brand new. This is an awesome box of stuff. Um, their career in the military, um, lots of military photos, lots of military, I don't know if the person was career, but cards, everything. If you're into military stuff, you would want that box. Cool double-headed axe, and it looks ancient. That thing's old. Uh, another very nice looking footstool slash Heidi box. Awesome. This thing's cool. So you got a big giant book, dictionary, Bible, atlas. You, this thing's built to hold it. You know, you open it, you flop it. It's got some springs so it doesn't, you know, really neat. And these legs fold up. The whole thing kind of folds up. And it screws into that base. It's, which I guess, kind of like a bookshelf. You could put a couple more books, giant books, anyway. So here's some of the books, and they're all dealing with either uh, Missouri history. Most of them are Missouri history, or novels about Missouri, or characters are from Missouri. Or there's some Civil War, a lot of Confederate stuff. I'll tell you, most of these are probably, well, almost all of these are no longer in print, probably long forgotten. You'd be hard-pressed to find and check them out. I mean, some of them, one of them had artwork from Thomas Hart Benton in the cover. Some of them are signed by the authors. Um, very cool. Very cool styles. One's from Gibraltar. One's from Scotland. Really cool stuff. Missouri Law School things. Collector's plates. University of Missouri. Nice, gorgeous organ. Check that thing out. Pump organ. That just looks beautiful not really working tried to pump it tried to get some sounds wasn't doing nothing but just looks alone it's a gorgeous piece there was a time where pretty much that was your entertainment so everybody you know if you were wealthy enough to own one got to have one in their parlor sit around and listen to ma squawk out a few songs uh, General Electric. Gee, that's pretty cool. This is neat too. Somebody carved that. All they put was their initials. It's a pretty gosh darn nice carving of a face. Cool little lamp. Nice wood piece. I love this clock. Of course I do because it's got a Scottish guy in a kilt and he's got his rifle and a deer and he's holding up a bugle. It's yeah, I, I like that piece a lot. Don't be surprised if you find me beating on it. All right. That looks almost like a coffin, but it's not. It's a very, very cool chest. I'm trying to show you the, there are latches on the side. Beautiful, old. Here's a front to a organ from like probably the 70s maybe the 80s but you know they cut the wiring off so I don't know I guess just have it to look at um, neat mirror nice frame another neat old mirror with a nice frame this is gorgeous they were using it as a uh, sewing box as I'm about to show you I mean look at that dovetail work I mean this is the real deal stuff and trays that move around multiple levels which I'm guessing personally I think this was some kind of like a wood carver's chest to begin with you know some kind of I'm not sure but it works great as a sewing cabinet obviously it's chuck full another neat chest neat old chest great hardware on it 
another movable tray definitely a carpenter's chest that would have held the saw beautiful another cool old chest bigger awesome I mean look at that I don't know if you can see the let me show this side then I mean big stout handles and wait till I, I mean look at this the hardware on it I mean those yeah this thing that's a tough piece beautiful the Beatles here's a cool mirror uh, sort of a fantasy sword sort of thing uh, somebody saw that it was made in Spain probably Toledo as most swords are made there and the guy does look conquistadorish nice little holder for it it's pretty cool gorgeous painting the real deal, Oliver J. Oliver J. Garu. I can't. I can't make it out. But uh, person definitely has some talent. This is worth looking here. I'll just check out the photos and see if you can't find out who that is. Neat sort of uh, saddle blanket there nice rug over here beautiful rug here the labels just completely gone on it so but you could tell that's the real deal has some age this is a game table um, in the photos you'll see how it is when it's in half I guess I could do it for you Ugh. of course I picked the wrong side see folds up like that and then it goes like Lord, I would do this while I'm trying to hold a camera. Oh, see, so cool. Yeah, it takes up half the size. Really nice. I don't know if it's for sheet music or what. It's a gorgeous piece, though. Put maps in it, whatever documents. Uh, very nice. So clean. It might as well be brand new, but probably from the 50s, 60s. Nice metal cabinet there. Here's another giant rug, man. And this thing's hand woven. It's, it's crazy. It's a beautiful, and it see it goes up and over. This is a big rug. You need a big area. Or really, you should just hang it on your wall because it's so gorgeous. Okay, well, let's show you some of the things here on the tables as I work my way back towards the furniture. I'm gonna be kinda of quick about this because you're gonna see this stuff again next week as well as the new stuff added. And I'm, I will do another video. And I'll be quick on that one too, mostly looking at and talking about the, the newer stuff. Lots of costume jewelry buy it by the flat a couple cool helmets back there one looks kind of Russian nice cake stand this is an awesome set look at this uh, this thing's chucked full try to buy all those lures very nice fishing pole with a real cool vintage reel um, yeah if you tried to buy all those lures there's, there's over well over a hundred bucks there neat stuff over here a lot of cool old books all kinds of collectibles the old box full of dolls treasures galore There's some longer burger baskets. I know people like those. Hey, you into cards? It doesn't matter what kind of cards. We've got you covered. Seriously. Baseball cards, football cards, basketball cards, uh, car cards, automobile cards, I mean, uh, comic book character cards, um, 
boxes and boxes. There's even golf. Professional golf cards. I didn't know they even did that, but apparently they did. Looks like they made cards for anything. Desert Storm cards. I don't know. What cards for all the pe people who participated, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. We should have collector cards for those who serve. You know, people can collect them, ask for their autograph, treat them like the heroes that they are. So, this is pretty nice and old. Check out the photos because I try to show, you know, the dovetailing or, or how the drawers put together. Another beautiful old piece. Just get ready because this is about, this is what's going to be going down for the next five minutes here. It's just nothing but awesome antique furniture just gorgeous stuff look at that beautiful dresser a lot of this stuff is at least a hundred years old it's pretty crazy here's some different bed springs and a very gorgeous old bed here's another you know and you have to carve those handles they're just they're not like affixed with glue, they're carved. It's a very nice old piece with the old ceramic knobs. This is a cool piece. Big old giant for artwork or documents or maps. Like a big old map chest or something. Pretty cool. Look at that lamp with the what is that? Uh, mica shade. Cool little milking stools. Awesome chests. Awesome old tables. This, all of this, came from an incredible estate from an incredible person. Awesome. Look at that. And those are probably old doors, and that was created that way. That was made to. In fact, I know they're old doors. On the other side, it's, you know, left kind of rough. And you can see where the... Beautiful. Makes, makes a great screen. Look at all these chairs, all these wicker bottom chairs. Beautiful. I mean, they're... This is awesome stuff. I and... Desks don't often do very well, but that one will, should anyway. It's an awesome desk. You open up the side panels, uh, you know, for the drawers, but there's panels even in the back. I mean, you could hide a child on each end of those. There's, uh, check out the photos, it's really cool. There's like hidey hole areas for, you know, could do whatever. Hide stuff. Real neat gorgeous stuff look at this armoire and it came in parts and pieces and we had to so you can put it back together you're gonna need some help putting the top on and everything and this is a tall tall piece I'm uh, I'm six foot and this thing's got to be a foot and a half taller so I'm guessing seven foot six inches roughly that's a huge huge piece but it will break down for transporting. Uh, another beautiful piece. That rounded front. Littler dresser. Cool old trunk. These have marble tops to them. Gorgeous. Crazy. Crazy how good. Here's some items this crazy thing so there's no pedals so I don't know if this was supposed to be a bicycle or supposed to go ahead and I mean the frame is stout enough maybe you could put a small engine in there and just turn it into like a motorbike kind of thing it's ready for you to do whatever I think the way with the big beefy tires maybe somebody just had a ramp and just took off over their pond and they just zoom, you don't even pedal, you just fly down and jump off, splash in the water, and then pull the bike back out. 
do it again. That's an Akai tape player. Neat lamps and all kinds of older, nice fruit crate, Pepsi crate. This is kind of a cool piece. Rugged and dependable since 1919. Fully guaranteed. Economical. Awesome stuff. Cool old beer cans. Look at that. You get a whole tub of beer cans. Old ones. <laughs> Dixie. Dixie beer. Awesome items back here too. Give you a glimpse. Nice oil lamp there. Nice silver set there. Silver plate, whatever. Well, I think we've we've got we're on to a good start. And like I said, more to come. Again, I hope you guys have a fabulous. Uh, I think I can speak on behalf of everybody here at Andrew Turner Auctions. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving. We look forward to seeing you the following week. And uh, stay tuned for more photos, more stuff, more treasures, and uh, more photos and another video. All right. You guys take care. Happy holidays. Bye.